Hey everyone, it's Liam with Lovely Scrap In, and I'm here with part one of two videos that I've created um, for the start to finish process of my mixed media canvas collage. So, um, right now, what I did was I just quickly traced down my photo so I have an idea where I want it, and now I sort of have a vision of a tree trunk going up the entire side of this canvas. So, I've taken some Mod Podge mat put down a layer and then just crinkled up some tissue paper just like any kind of tissue paper you know when you pack gifts and stuff like that I just got some tissue paper from my dollar store and um, put down a layer and then Mod Podge and then another layer making it really crinkled and then more Mod Podge and just do layer after layer just to get a really crinkled um, sort of a textured look and I thought that would be sort of a neat look for a tree trunk the whole idea of this canvas came from the walk, the family outing that I had, um, and it was just, it was November, beautiful fall day, gorgeous sunshine, like gorgeous maple trees and leaves everywhere, it was just absolutely beautiful day, and um, my hubby and I took pictures of our family, and um, the picture I'm using my hubby took of me standing under a maple tree, so that's where I got the idea to do this, where I've got a tree trunk and then branches, and then I've also um, taken some leaves and stuff from our little outing and I you'll watch me add that to this project as well so this project is called Sweet November and now I'm going to create some branches using some smaller strips of tissue paper and this canvas is 16 inches by 20 inches you guys so it's pretty big so it's really hard to get it all on screen so I do have to move it around a lot to make sure I am in sc on uh, on screen for the most part but though there are will be times where I'm not fully on screen and I apologize it's just really hard to work work a, a start to finish video with such a big project and so that's kind of what it looks like with the branches I realized that my picture was too high up so I'm just going to retrace it a little bit lower and now I'm going to add more texture so I've taken some cheesecloth and I'm just going to cut out the center of the cheesecloth so that I can place my picture in the center and have the edges of the cheesecloth overlapping the outer edges of my picture so that's sort of what I'm doing right now and then I'm going to put down a layer of Mod Podge down here and uh, put a fairly good amount on there and then I'm going to add my photo on top of that and seal it down nicely and then just add another layer of the Mod Podge over top just to seal my picture completely so that'll help protect it because um, I'm going to be doing a lot of a lot of painting and spraying and all kinds of stuff um, I also do use baby wipes over top when I do my painting which you'll see later and that helps to protect the photo So right now I, I'm just sealing down that cheesecloth with the Mod Podge and I'm kind of bringing in the edges to make it crinkled and waved and using my fingers to sort of make it crinkled looking. And then when that dries, um, it's just got this amazing texture to it. And now I'm just taking some nice big um, chicken wire, which is perfect for this big project. And I'm just cutting off different pieces and different shapes to uh, add to different spots of the canvas. There you can see the different pieces that I've cut out. And then I'm just pulling out different things from my stash, some different trims, some burlap, some laces, crochet trim, a doily type flower, just some random pieces that I wanted to add to the background um, just to add some really cool texture. So I'm just playing around with the placement right now and, you know, putting things where I think it might look nice. And then after I like where everything is, I'm just going to 
seal it all down with Mod Podge again. I must have gone through an entire tub of this Mod Podge mat. It's wonderful. I love it. It is a bit stinky though, so I like to kind of make sure I've got uh, doors open, the window open a little bit, so I don't, you know, pass out. It's nothing like E6000 though, <laughs> but it is a little bit smelly. I really love this one that I'm putting down right now. It almost looks like it's got like skeleton leaf type of look with the vines in it. And here you can see me clamping down the chicken wire because of course the chicken wire is never going to lay perfectly flat on your canvas. So you have to lay down a lot of, of adhesive which is the Mod Podge I'm using and then I just clamp some edges down and then I use heavy objects. Um, over top to sort of you know place down on top of it so that it would dry um, flat against the canvas and then I just take off the object afterwards and it I mean it doesn't stick the object won't stick to the canvas at all it'll maybe have a little bit of glue on the bottom of it but that's okay and so here's a nice picture I had to take I thought it was funny I use all types of heavy objects I could try to find around the kitchen and put it down on all of the uh, the chicken wire that I put down and then I just let it set overnight and then um, I went over it with a layer of Mod Podge again let that dry and then right now I'm just going over with a layer of um, gesso just to uh, prime it all for when the painting process happens and so that's kind of what it's looking like all nice and white You can see the texture that all of that tissue paper gave. It's so cool. I'm really happy with the way that that turned out. And then next I'm going to start taking some of the pieces that I gathered from our walk and our little outing. Um, I pulled some things off the, the trees, like those green ones I pulled right off the trees. These leaves I just found on the ground. And I just layered them all with Mod Podge matte and let them dry and put a good thick layer on it because I actually collected those and then didn't start working on this project until a week later and I didn't want the, trees, the leaves to dry up and get all gross and ugly looking. So that's why I sealed them. It makes it, um, sealing them early makes it a little bit more difficult um, putting it onto the canvas because it curls up a little bit. It does add texture when it's all kind of curly and stuff, but when you place it down it just makes it a little bit more difficult to adhere it down and it might crack a little bit so you just have to be careful but it ended up working out nicely I had to use a little bit of hot glue adhering them down along with the Mod Podge so that they would stay down but the look of it in the end I really enjoyed a lot of them end up getting covered up but I know that they're there and I know that um, some of them do show um, the edges and you can definitely tell that they're leaves so I really liked how that turned out especially the green ones the uh the the texture that those give or that those gave afterwards when i sprayed them and that the way the color took to them oh it just it turned out really cool i was quite happy with it i was a little bit skeptical doing this you guys but again i'm learning and i really wanted to experiment with different things so i thought why not give it a whirl it's going to be mine it's not going to be anybody else's so i'll be the one staring at it and i'll know you know all the imperfections of it but that's okay that's all part of art that's why you guys I know this is it may seem intimidating but I just did it you know just go with it and just you know come up with different things as you go along don't be afraid just glue it down and um, you know just don't go go in go into it with no fear that's all that's the advice I can give I know it's a little overwhelming it can seem at times but um, it's so much fun you guys getting into it like this and just you know coming up with ideas on what you're going to do next and I mean the entire look of it I sort of had an idea of where I was going but the look of it I just kind of went with the flow and that's how it ended up being so here's just a quick picture of the leaves and everything down um, with the Mod Podge on it and then um, right after that dried I just did a little bit more layering and then you're going to see me um, you know go over it with another layer of gesso. So here, I've, this was another piece I actually picked from a bush, and I thought it was really cool. It was actually more of a frosty white, but then when I sealed it with Mod Podge, it turned green. But I still like the look of it. The branched type look was pretty cool. So, And again, adding some more green pieces there and some leaves. And then I've got part of a uh, 
puffy daisy there um, and then the very top there that peach rose is I think from Prima so I just added some hot glue to that leaf there and adhered it down. I will go over it again with some more Mod Podge to seal it all down, which is what I'm going to do right now. I really wanted to make sure that those leaves were sealed well with Mod Podge. <laughs> and now I'm taking my gesso and I'm just going to go over everything with gesso and give it a good whitewash look and get it all prepared for adding more elements and then eventually painting. Here I just took an older paintbrush and I'm just sort of pouncing the paintbrush straight down to get into the little cracks and crevices of the branches here. And here I'm just adding just half of a flower there. And I'm just um, painting that Prima flower all white just because there's a lot of dimension to it. I thought I'd do it ahead of time. And here I'm just sort of measuring the pieces of the thick twine that I want to lay down here in a little bit. And the twine will just add some cool texture to the tree trunk area. So I'm just drying it up with my heat tool. And now I'm just going to take some hot glue and I'm just going to adhere the uh, thick twine down in sort of like a squiggly sort of a, a pattern, no rhyme or reason to it, just sort of randomly going down like bark wood on a tree sort of a thing. So I'm just adding more texture to that area is pretty much all I'm doing. Here I'm just decided I wanted to add another piece up at the top, so I just cut that out and adhering it down. I'm not really worried about the hot glue, you know, if some comes out a little bit at the side. Really, if anything, it's just going to add more texture when the paint goes on. You're not even going to be able to know that that's hot glue coming out there because there's so much texture on this. There's going to be tons of elements all over the place. So the little imperfections like hot glue coming out of some areas, you're not even going to know, really. People might think, oh, is that a bead <laughs> or something, you know, like you just don't know because it ends up getting painted. So that's the fun part of the painting, you guys. So here are some Lindy Stamp Gang charms. I really knew I wanted to incorporate them. I love them. They're brass. Um, I'm not really into a brass color, but the cool thing is, of course, you can alter them either with alcohol ink or paint, which is what I do here. And all I've done is I've just taken a whole bunch of different pieces of items from my stash, and I've just, you know, I've caught them in these little containers all around me. You can't quite see very well, but I've got containers of pieces all around me and I've just taken things out and I'm just you know layering things and placing things on there and then you know things end up getting changed around quite a bit on this canvas but that's the entire process of it right you just kind of place things down and see where you like it and then it might end up getting moved I've even glued some things down and actually ripped them up because I didn't like it afterwards here I added the rest of the flower because I decided I liked the entire flower on there instead of three quarters of it so and then, then I'm just adding some different pieces. I've got different things like that swirl thing is just an ornament hook for Christmas. This is just a, a vintage um, pen nib that I got. And uh, I've got a hinge there, you know, lots of different types of flowers and cam a cameo there. And just random things. Some things I don't even know, like that metal thing that I'm holding right now. I don't even know what that is, you guys. <laughs> I just bought it for 25 cents at a thrift store because it was metal. I'm like, oh, that'll look good on a collage. So, really, just you guys can find anything. And I even found that round thing at the bottom of the screen, so you can't quite see the entire thing, but it's just below the hinge and in between the lock there. And that round piece is just the top of a concentrated can, you know, of the. Uh, concentrated juice that you can buy in the fr frozen food section of the grocery store and after we made the juice I just saved the lid because I thought it was cool <laughs> so 
<laughs> I added it to the collage. I actually saved it a long time ago, not knowing what I would ever use it for. But, I mean, that's the fun thing about saving things, you guys. You never know. And then you can use anything in this kind of a project. So just save whatever you guys want. You may think it's trash, but just save it. Like bottle caps and the pull tabs from, like, cans and stuff. Just save it all because you could totally incorporate it into a cool project. And here I'm just layering some uh, different metal pieces of flower and then I end up putting a little button in there. Alter things a lot by cutting and bending and manipulating. So pretty much for um, for this video, uh, the, just this part here that you're seeing, I'm just uh, playing around with placement and um, you're going to want to check out part two that's coming up here. Um, the link will be posted down below you guys so be sure to check out part two and that is going to be the part where um, of course the finishing touches start to happen with all of the elements on there, the gluing um, and the painting and spraying. So, And you'll also see a slideshow at the end of uh, part two of the completed um, collage. So anyways guys thanks so much for watching. Here's a quick picture of um, just what I've done so far and part two will show the rest.